And thanks for joining our webinar today. For anybody that doesn't know me, I'm Megan Twentyman, the BDM for Unified Communications here at Bluechip. The purpose of today's webinar is to talk about the latest information with 3CX version 20. We're now at update three release candidates, so almost at go live. We've had some updates to the apps, including the Windows and the mobile apps, and there are some upcoming changes for support around version 18, which we'll cover off today. We'll of course have a Q&A, um, so you can start putting questions into the chat and we'll answer those at the end. I'm lucky enough to have Akila on the line with us today, who is our new UC sales engineer. Hi everyone, I want to extend a warm welcome to all of you for joining us today for this webinar. So as Megan mentioned, if you have any questions during this presentation, please feel free to ask and we'll address them in Q&A segment. Awesome, thanks Akila. So now to have a look at the agenda for today. So we're going to take a recap around update three. We've already run a couple of webinars about the new features coming in update three. So really it's just a recap today. Um, I will cover off what's changed in the latest releases of the Windows soft phone and the mobile apps. Then we'll focus in on the support changes that are coming for version 18. We'll wrap up with our Q&A. So we have the chat option um, that you can throw those questions in as we go along and we will answer them at the end. I'm not viewing them during presenting of the webinar. All right, so release candidate for update three. So we're very close to go live. The whole purpose of 3CX's version 20 update three is to make admins lives easier. So let's just run through that really quick recap. Um, if you need links to our previous webinars, I'm happy to share those with you as well. So some key things here are around easier remote storage and archiving. So when this is optimized, it makes the running of the PBX that much more efficient. So being able to back up your recordings, your chats, your voicemails, etc., off the instance is going to make your instance run that much better. So you've got options for Google, SharePoint, FTP, FTPS and SFTP. So those are all updated with update three. The Microsoft Teams syncing is now two-way with just the standard Microsoft 365 integration. So if you're in a meeting on Teams, it will reflect in your 3CX status. If you're on a call in 3CX, it will reflect in your Teams status. So it does make life that little bit much easier for the rest of your team that want to know what you're up to. The other cool thing coming in update three is the updated CRM integration. So you'll remember that Whisper AI was introduced in update two. Now we have the ability to add call transcriptions directly to the CRM using the Whisper AI and also a call recording link directly to the CRM. However, do remember that only users with the rights to be able to listen to that recording link will be able to actually listen to it. Not everybody will have access to that even though it's in the CRM. Other key things are around the admins. So some of these things are things that we were all struggling with and they are back, which we're really happy and excited about. So the multi-edit feature, you know, being able to copy one con config to another, um, you know, things like your call forwarding, your BLFs and that type of thing, you want to make it easy. Um, there's also some slightly more granular user rights, which is you can actually assign barge and listen or whisper to individual users, which is independent of their role. You'll remember that previously you couldn't make those alterations. So that one's kind of a really good one for training, especially when you want someone just to be a user, say in a call center environment, but they're actually just helping the newbie learn what to do. So being able to do that with a call makes life really, really easy. You can now share reports to multiple email addresses. Um, you can enable and disable 3CX Talk. Um, the IP phone firmware option, you can now choose the 3CX supported and tested firmware or an untested firmware. We all know that occasionally a vendor from the hardware side will put out a updated firmware that you need for some specific use case scenario. So that's now available. There is much more in the admin features and I do encourage you to review the release notes for update three alpha, beta and release candidates because it has all of the information there on the website. The other thing that came in with update, well, is coming in with update three, I should say, because we're still a release candidate, so we're not on go live yet, um, is that they are slowly reducing the restrictions around hosted by 3CX. 
So being able to remove those restrictions because we have this beautiful stable platform of hosted by 3CX, which as we know uses DigitalOcean for the ANZ region, um, it's going to allow things like custom templates, you can have the local um, MCU for your video conferencing, and they have already signaled that an update for the restriction of no cool flow designer with the hosted service will be removed. So there is very much a focus on allowing you to have that flexibility even on the hosted platform. A reminder that hosted by 3CX is for instances from four simultaneous calls all the way up to 256 simultaneous calls. So you do have options there. The other thing that's in update three is around the call routing scripts. So you remember that we've talked about the APIs that are being released um, to allow you to easily script those behaviors. Um, they've now added the call processing scripts to a store, which is just on your um, drop down menu. So you can access that very, very easily once you get to update three. Um, we do realize that some partners don't have the skill set around the scripting, et cetera. We do have other partners that are willing to work with you and we can do introductions. So if you're struggling with any of that, please do reach out to me or the team and we'll help you with that. Now to look at the updates around the uh, Windows Soft Phone and we'll follow that with the mobile apps. So the latest Windows Soft Phone was launched um, just back on the 19th, so just you know a few days ago. Um, chat was added back in August. Now the ability to transfer chats um, so that somebody that is better able to answer a question for somebody is available straight from the Windows Soft Phone app. You can also forward messages and documents and images or you can download those to a folder which will sit on your Windows machine um, in the downloads folder and it will add another folder called 3CX soft phone. So that's really, really useful for those that are using the chat functionality for internal chat and external chat from the website. There's also been some cosmetic changes. So the panel button, which is the one that opens up and can show you things like the wall board or the incoming calls, has moved from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. It sits between the minimize and the close options. Um, they've also narrowed the navigation bar, so less of your screen is taken up with your soft phone. So that just means that those little BLFs are shrunk that little bit more as well. The latest mobile apps, so I've covered this in one slide um, because really a lot of this is just getting ready for update three to go live. So from the Android side of things, there is better conferencing to be able to do ad hoc conferences. So you can merge an incoming call into your existing one. You can invite additional users to join your conference call. So you're just having a call about something and you want to um, add another user you can now easily do that from your Android app. So you don't even have to be using your soft phone or anything like that in the office. For the iOS app, um, one of the clear focuses there was about faster reconnection when you're moving between roaming and Wi-Fi. Um, so again, it's all just like back end getting ready. So just keep those up to date from your relevant stores, whether it's Android or iOS, um, and make sure you're ready for the latest with version 20. <laughs> now, as I mentioned in the agenda, there are some important changes coming to version 18 support. So these are really important and I'm sure we will have questions that we will answer as we go along at the end. Um, I'm going to hand over to Akila who's going to walk us through the next couple of slides. Um, but as I say, if you've got questions, pop them in the chat and we will answer them at the end. We're almost at the end of today's bite-sized webinar. So over to you Akila. Thank you, Megan, for your detailed overview on 3CX V20 Update 3. Now I will continue this session and dive you in with 3CX support changes coming for V18 instances and what they mean for your businesses and the best practices for preparing for this transition. So as 3CX has announced, version 18 will be end of life at the end of 2024. So now it is time to be planning for your migration. EOL 18, uh, sorry, uh, end of life means no further development, patching or support. As you know, de uh, development has already ceased on version 18. Uh, so the next is system owners. System owners are very important. The system owners was introduced in V18 upgrade 6 back in early 2023 and it is being enforced with V20 now. Systems on V18 must have system owner assigned before upgrading to V20. 
Failure to do so will result in you being logged out of the instance and you'll require 3CX support, which will cost you around 500 USD, dollar, USD or your European dollars, depending on the location. And it, it, it is essential that your system owner is assigned in V18 before you upgrade. So this will help you save time and costly support tickets. And assigning a system owner is very simple three-step process. Log into your management console in V18 and go to user management and designate a user with admin rights as a system owner. And the next coming up alert from 15th of October, there will be an extra cost of 100 USD dollars per support ticket on small instances of 4SC and 18C licenses. And besides this, regardless of the subscription size, 3CX will no longer support level three support for v18 instances but their level one and level two support will still be there but the clear message is to be moving all instances to v20 and the next slide uh, now let's recap the deadlines that have already occurred as they are all important because it is very crucial to ensure that your systems are compliant with the latest requirements if you haven't already made these upgrades i recommend prioritizing these to avoid any further disruption in service or your support and the debian 10 was end of life earlier this year and there are no further updates this was the version that the linux edition of 3cx v18 was built on and from 1st of july all nfrs need to be upgraded to v20 nfr still on v18 will be revoked and the 4sc free standard license need to be upgraded to v20 as well else your free key will only support 2sc and if you don't wish to upgrade to v20 you can upgrade your subscription license to pro edition that only has an term step as you'll need v20 by the end of this year and from 15th of august SSL certificates were updated and only V18 on update 9, build 31 and V20 with update 1 or higher can connect to activation servers. And this is very important as if you renew a license and it's not on the current version, the, then the license extension will not apply until you get the instance on the current version. And from 1st of September, all hosted by 36 should be on V20 else. If they are still on V18, 36 will no longer monitor nightly backup security patches and updates to V18. But in general, hosted by 36 should usually update your 36 system to V20. And if you haven't have the V18 instance to restore to hosted by 36, it will automatically be upgraded to V20. But please make sure the system owner is set to V18 in the backup. So now I, will, now I will hand over back to Megan to continue this session. Lovely. Thanks, Akila. And I'm sure we will have plenty of questions coming up. So just yes. to wrap up, um, technical trainings are coming. Akila is working really hard. She's been with us for about seven weeks now. So she's working really hard on all of her training around 3CX and all of our hardware brands. Um, so the updated version 20 exams are available, um, but we will be running sessions. So we will run some sessions in the last quarter of this year, and then we will be rolling out more sessions in 2025. Sounds really scary that we're that close to 2025. As you know, we have our monthly UC channel update newsletter, which just went out last week. If you didn't get a copy and you need a copy, reach out and we'll make sure we get you signed up. Any kind of upcoming events will be in our weekly newsletter, which comes out each Thursday, and that focuses on news, events, and um, promotions across all of our brands, just not UC. Um, sorry, what I need to say is not just UC, like the UC newsletter. If there's anything UC related, it will be in our weekly as well. Uh, we also have our LinkedIn UC community group, which you can request access from the link within our um, uh, newsletter or you can also just reach out and we'll get you signed up into that group. So it's really important to stay up to date with what's happening. As you all know, things change very, very quickly with with 3CX. Um, so I'm just leaping back to the right screen to look at the questions that are coming in and feel free to throw any other questions in there. I'm sure the support will um, need a few questions answered. Um, 
Will Blue Chip be holding training sessions for certifications? We absolutely will be. So Akila is just getting herself up to speed. One of her core focuses of her role is to be delivering those certifications. So that will be a mixture of in-person and online training events. Um, but we've just got to get Akila's knowledge obviously built up. It's a huge amount to learn. Um, and I have to say, I can't remember quite how many certifications she's up to now across our hardware and our 3CX, but I think it's nine or 10 um, in the first seven weeks of her employment with us. So massive amounts of learning that akila has been doing. Um, and we're just helping her um, refine all of that knowledge really to deliver those trainings. Feel free to use the chat to throw in any other questions that anybody might have. We will send out a recording of this webinar. Um, so that um, will come out tomorrow. Um, and we're happy to answer any questions to uc at bluechipit.co.nz. Had a moment there. Um, it's one of those ones where you sort of go, I'm still thinking soft solutions. So apologies, I have to think about our email addresses. Not actually getting a flood of questions, which I thought we might do. Um, key message here is around upgrading to version 20, being prepared to do that, not locking yourself out with that system owner. Those charges, we mentioned USD or Euro. Some partners here in New Zealand have a USD um, account, others have a Euro account. So it will be transacted in that directly with 3CX, not via us. Of course, we still offer our free support we say first level obviously we go above and beyond that a lot um, so those queries can still come to uc support at bluechipit.co.nz and we will endeavor to assist you but do know that the support focus from 3cx is switching to version 20 which is their um, future of the product and we'll see update 3 go live soon and then exciting changes also come in with update 4 so looking forward to that as well Okay, so if there's actually no more questions coming in, if anybody thinks of anything um, straight after this and goes, I should have, um, reach out to us, happy to answer those questions or give me a call, usual types of scenarios, we're happy to help. Um, thank you very much for joining today's webinar. We do appreciate your time. We've managed to stay right on track and keep this nice and short and sweet. Um, so we look forward to um, seeing you all again soon on the next webinar, um, but have a great day and um, we will catch you on our next webinar. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.